What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pakel. Today on The Hard Count, we're going to talk about what's next. Welcome into CFB with J.D., the people's channel. Everything you know and that you love about college football happens here on a nearly daily basis. Jack McKenzie, Garrett Ross, doing the real heavy lifting, making everything you see here happen at such a professional level, at such an elite level that puts us in another space in terms of YouTube. Regardless of what I talk about here, happens in a very elite way, like I mentioned, because of what they do. So enormous thank you to them. Uh, this is a little bit of a different video today. This is going to be, uh, in a very bittersweet say, this will be the last installment of my contributions to this channel. This channel will go on. It will be uh, college football centric as it continues to progress. The party will continue to roll. So there's a lot of things coming down the pipe that are exciting and that I can't wait to watch evolve as this channel continues to grow. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about, uh, I say I say my story, but in, in some sense, it's just a story that I'm privileged to be able to uh, have, have walked out. But without further ado, uh, I played college football at Cornell and my junior year, I got mono. And so... I mentioned that because with that being said, I had one year of eligibility left and you don't get another year in our conference for a develop, you know, a developmental reason or anything besides that. So all that's to say I had one extra year I could use. And with that being said, I had the option to either unenroll from school and come back and graduate a year later, which didn't sound appealing to me, or I could go and try to use it somewhere else. And so for me, playing at Baylor had always been a dream. That's where my family had gone. That's who I rooted for growing up. It's where I was excited to be. So by one way, shape, or form or another, was able to get into school there, was able to walk onto the program. And at this point, I think I have it made in the shade. Like, I'm fired up. And do the whole summer conditioning program. About day four or five, the, the day gets longer every single time I tell the story. So maybe, you know, in a few years, it'll be halfway through the season. But day five of, of fall camp, got another concussion, and at that point, talked to the medical staff, like, hey, maybe you should think about retirement. So all that to say, I am in Waco, Texas, and I'm not playing football. I'm in a grad program that I'm not overwhelmingly excited about, so I'm kind of just like, okay, God, where, where do you want this to go? And so the first day, or the first game, I should say, that Baylor was going to play, I got a text from Colt Barber and saying, hey, heard from someone within the program, you're interested in broadcasting, why don't you come help do a post game?" And I am forever indebted to, to Colt and to Taylor Bryan, who was the SID at Baylor at the time, who I think passed on my name, for uh, affording me the opportunity to be able to even have any sort of start in, in you know, doing what we do now. Um, I know for a fact I wasn't good at it. I know for a fact uh, my presentation wasn't phenomenal. But for him to continue to invite me back and for Grayson Grunhafer, who works on this side as well, to continue to – um, encourage me and coach me. I'm just forever indebted to them. And so I say all that to say there were a lot of things that fell perfectly into place that I can't take any responsibility for. I truly believe there was a lot about um, what we've been able to do here that's extremely divine and I'm extremely grateful for. And I had no real way into this industry besides that. And so the reason why this is our last episode today is because I'm, I'm fortunate to say that I'll be moving to Nashville. My wife has agreed to move to Nashville and has been extremely encouraging uh, to take on a position with on three sports. And so we're going to be doing the same thing there as we do here. And that's not to try and make any sort of promotion for what we're going to do there, but just to say thank you so much to our audience who has uh, promoted us, who has shown an interest in us and who has continued to champion us because when we started out, like I, I've said this a couple of times on this channel, I came in here because of a green light from the people that own this company and said, go ahead and give it a try. We'd be happy to help you produce it and help you edit it together and, and put it out on our channel. And there were times where I came in at 7 p.m. and tried for two hours to get the camera to sit straight and tried to think of a coherent sentence and left with one video. And um, so for them to be patient with me and to champion me and to allow those resources, I'm forever indebted. And like I said, to, to Jack McKenzie, to Garrett Ross, to the entire production team here, uh, this is nowhere near as effective or as good looking or in, in even the same stratosphere without what they've done here. And so uh, for that, I'm forever indebted and truly believe there's no way that this becomes a reality uh, without that. And so I just think back to, to having to kind of 
decide what I wanted to do during that junior season of mine where I'm like, man, God, this does not feel at all like the right thing. Like I'm supposed to have my best season. I'm supposed to be able to enjoy with my friends and we're supposed to do all these great things on the football field. And that was truly the most miserable time of, of my young adult life, which if that's the most miserable time of my life, I probably lived a pretty good life, which is saying something. But um, a lot of that didn't make sense to me then. But a lot of what's happening right now and a lot of the things that the Lord has used in my life now happened because of that one difficult time in my life. And so to, to sort of put a, a cap on all of this, um, this show is going to continue. This channel is going to continue. The party is going to roll on, as we've said multiple times. Jet McKenzie, Garrett Ross going to continue to produce fire for you. Uh, for whoever's sitting behind this mic, they're going to do a phenomenal job. I have zero doubts about it. They're going to keep it 100. They're going to keep it about college football, and about the things that you and I care about. And so I'm excited to watch this continue to grow. And I just wanted to say one more time, just thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing us to do this, for allowing me to do this and sit behind here and, and talk about everything from game breakdowns to storylines to transfer portals to NIL to different things that we as college football fans who live and breathe the stuff care about on a very deep, deep level. And so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, the party, like I said, will continue to roll on. You can keep up with me on Twitter at JD Pakel. There's a lot of good things coming there as well. Uh, but again, thank you for everything that y'all have made possible through this. Uh, we're going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all very, very soon. <laughs>